three inch valve, disassembly, reassembly, and testing the lower housing. In order to remove the upper housing, use a 3 8 and a 7 16 inch wrench to remove the bolts. Depending on the bolt, you may need to use two 3 8 wrenches. Once the first bolt is removed, clamp the housing pieces together. Once the bolts are removed, set the upper housing and spring aside. Using a 7 8 deep well socket and wrench, remove the two nuts from both ends of the shaft. Once the nut is off, remove the washers, plunger, o-ring, rubber seat, and retaining washer and set aside. On the other side, remove that nut, the washer, the diaphragm, and the cup assembly. Next, unscrew the piston plate. Remove the cup from the diaphragm. Also remove the large o-ring from the bottom of the lower housing. Now remove the three screws holding the bearing into place. Next, remove the wiper shaft seal. To assemble a valve, first of all start by inspecting your wiper shaft seal. Place it in the lower housing, rubber side down. Take the white bearing and place it in the lower housing with the gear side down. Aligning the holes with the inserts in the lower housing, use a quarter inch nut driver to install the three screws provided. After inspecting, place large o-ring on the lower housing. After inspecting valve seat, install the retaining washer as shown. Place one of the three washers on the small diameter end of the shaft. Next, install the plunger and small o-ring. Now place the valve seat, retaining washer, and the second of the three washers onto the end of the valve shaft. Secure the nut by using an eighth inch tool into the eyelet of the shaft. Now tighten using a 7 8 inch wrench. Apply a generous coat of the Dow 111 valve grease. Slide the grease shaft through the bottom of the lower housing. Spin the piston plate on the shaft until it bottoms out. Do not over tighten. Inspect the diaphragm for any tears or defects. Roll the diaphragm down on the cup as shown, ensuring the double beaded seal is facing up. Place the diaphragm and cup assembly onto the end of the shaft, securing using the last washer and nut. Tighten the nut until the plate assembly starts to turn. If over tightened, the piston plate threads will crack.
Insert magnet into the clip and place in cup. Now grease the top portion of the shaft. With the lower housing ports to the right, align the magnet clip with the notch on top. Set the spring in the piston cup and mount the upper housing with the dip tube on the inner diameter of the spring. Clamp the assembly together. From the bottom up, insert the four bolts and secure. To test the lower housing, the test selector switch on your test box should be to the left. Now cap one of the lower housing ports on your valve. Apply a piece of 3 8 tubing onto the breather and valve port of the test box and to the other lower housing port of the valve. Now apply no more than 4 inches of vacuum. Maximum leak rate 1 quarter inch per minute. 